Hello guys, welcome back to the Megacy Sports channel. It's your boy. Yeah, I got two names. I don't know what name I should give y'all. I'm gonna just do both. It's your boy Took It Official, or you can call me Super Mega Man. Today I came across a video which says uh, Kylian Mbappe versus Vinicius Jr. 2024. We're gonna take a look at these two guys who are really good at dribbling, are really pacey, P two pacey wingers, one who plays on the left and the other one plays on the right. Actually, Vinicius can play both sides, and Mbappe can also play both sides. So, yeah, I'd like to ask you guys a question. Who would you rather have in your squad? Would you rather have Vinicius Jr. or Kylian Mbappe? I personally, I would rather have Mbappe because this guy is clutch. When I watched him in the game between Argentina and France back in the 2022 World Cup, the way he tormented those Argentina defenders, hey, that guy, he, can, he is clutch. I think he's, he could be the next Ronaldo or something. That's according, my, according to my point of view. And uh, he's won the World Cup, so he's a better player between him and Mbappe. I mean him and Vinicius Jr. So he's the better player. And actually, I would prefer having Mbappe's career because at such a young age, he has already won a World Cup. And I think, I'm going to predict this. Mbappe is going to win two more World Cups in his career with France. Because after the end of the era between Messi and Ronaldo, he's next in line. So, and France is a really good national team with really good players. You can form up to like five squads, five starting in li in lineups with France, and they are all pretty solid. But for Brazil, uh, I don't think if you can get five solid squads from Brazil national team. I don't think so. But Vinicius Jr. is also a really good, capable player, and he's got, he also got a bright future ahead of him, and uh, certainly going to win multiple Champions Leagues with Real Madrid alongside Jude Bellingham. And also Mbappe, there is speculation that he might go to Real Madrid next season we're not so sure yet because he's not gonna extend his contract with Paris Saint-Germain let him let me know in the comment section guys where Mbappe is gonna play next season is it gonna be Chelsea <laughs> Liverpool Real Madrid Manchester City Manchester United Arsenal and uh, Bayern Munich let me know down in the comment section personally I think it's gonna be Real Madrid that's 100% guaranteed ladies and gentlemen let's check out this video and uh, we get to decide who is a better player we already know who the better player is in terms of trophy cabinets and uh let's see man let's see <laughs> why is coming finger dancing here Vinicius. wonderful skill. Oh. oh my goodness very lethal player, man. When he, when he starts going on his motor, he ain't Vinicius, stopping him. The creator again. And Real Madrid Woo. are heading towards a final. Ah, how do you stop this kid? The entire La Liga season to this point with a couple of injuries. Man, he lost his bearings, but still managed to get away from the defender. Vinicius, oh, not back on Samuel Costa. Looks for the finish. What a goal that would have been. But Rajkovic is up to the top. It's close. Making the save. Tremeni with the delivery. Wait, how did he score that? Is it an own goal? Well, like with the shoulder? Wasn't that a handball? That's a shoulder, is it? It seemed to come off the defense. And there we go again. And this time Vinicius goes for goal. What a sweetly struck! What a sweetly, sweetly struck goal! Five minutes on the clock. What a finish! Oh, <laughs> oh. Man, you just gotta sit and stare at him. Ocelo. Oh, that is just so sweet to watch. Especially against Mamardashvili and, and because there was no advantage to that in that situation. So it needed to be the perfect ball uh, to find Rodrigo. Ah, he's silky, I love it. Oh, it's a goal, it's done. It's done, that's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal. Most throughout the season, and that range you mentally. Oh, look at that from Kamenka. Oh. Vini, oh, what a goal! It's 
through their own flag. Vinicius brilliantly to Barry. Oh. It is another beauty from Real Madrid. Rodrigo matching on to the nutmeg by Carvajal Square. Way. This should be two, it is. Bro, that's with his chest. Well, you're good, my guy. Five draws and one defeat from their 23 matches. Vinicius is at it again. Where's it going to end up? With Vinny, who produces magical footwork to keep you lose the game. So, good option. Fresh legs and also you reduce the risk with the red yellow card. Oh. Oh, a couple of scoops there over the defenders. He is extremely fast. That's the only way to stop him. One mistake, you take him down. Brilliant finish. Sucks it into the bottom left corner. Vinicius Jr. has a first half hat trick. First half hat trick against. What's up, Barcelona? Real Madrid threatening here. It's Vinicius uh, Jr. It's 2 0. Brilliant uh, finish. Damn. By Vinicius Jr. He is Absolutely. calm. Especially in front of goal, he is really calm. Okay, let's see him. Gives it away We're still on Vinicius. It's three against four. Valencia need to get players back because it's Vinny Junior on the right foot. Oh. Dragged into oh the Oh my near days. Post. Three minutes oh into my the second days. Half. It's a second for Vinny Junior. He loves playing against Valencia. Garcia makes his move up the line. Vinicius cuts inside. Superb How does he do this? He is extremely fast. Especially when he's on the ball. He's like a motor. Vinicius down that left hand side. He's been brought down. Has a quick chance to to go across the Bruno. Vinicius turns, looking to get away from Podco. Back inside him, brilliant. Lays it back, and it's going to be Tramini who slices it. Vinicius Junior again to run inside onto the left goal line. Ah, ah, oh. Nice to see Vinicius. Can't shake off. To see where the support is. Bellingham now arriving, and he's in a bit of space, and he's found. And Bellingham oh, Bellingham, man, he can arm. finish really well, like a striker. Really well worked. Braga thought it was offside. Flags. But glaring back at him, and here's Bellingham from the defensive error. He sets up here, Vinicius Junior. Come <laughs> oh, on. What a mistake! A mistake at one end from Real Madrid, punished. A mistake. At Napoli's end, a really poor square pass intercepted by Bellingham. Wonderfully, wonderfully delivered to Vinicius. De ganarlo, de empatarlo, eh, no hay una diferencia clara todavía en el marcador. Sí, en el juego. Cuidado, mira, mira, mira el golazo de Vinicius, golazo. Look, bro, he is Vinicius. just so fast. Another bright run, Bellingham. Man, when he starts moving, it's hard to catch him. Really hard to catch him. There he is. Look, there he is. Rodrigo's gonna square it to him. Ah, uh, just too fast. He is just too fast. Hey, come on, let's see Mbappe now. I've seen a lot of Vinicius so far. He is good. He is good on one v ones. He is good on one v ones, Vinicius. Time to see Mbappe, my guy. Here we go. The boy who is already a legend. Oh. 
sei o quê. He, he, he is quicker than Vinicius though You already know Mbappe is quicker than Vinicius Hey yo, what a finish What a finish Look, 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 look. <laughs> he is fast. Look at that. Never pass. What was the goalkeeper doing there? Guy can score goals. His pace. There, he, there is where he has an advantage. His pace. You are never catching him. His pace is absolutely like a cheat code. Look at that. Bruh. Once he starts running with the ball, it's over for the defenders. Oh, what a finish. That was clinical. His finishing is ah, very clinical. His finishing is just way too good.
That was Mark Magnon in goal. Well, I guess that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, according to what I've seen so far, um, for me, Mbappe is a better player than Vinicius. But um, I gotta one, I gotta make one thing clear. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to skill and dribbling ability, for me personally, I think Vinicius Vinicius Junior is a better skillful player than Mbappe, and his dribbling ability is better than Mbappe's. According to me, according to me. But in terms of finishing and pace. Mbappe edges more than Vinicius Jr. There is when he he like edges Vinicius Jr. in terms of um, general footballing ability. Uh, when Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, he is gonna be Vinicius Jr.'s teammate. Then who is going to be greater than the other? We're gonna go back to 2014, if I'm not mistaken, when Neymar went to Barcelona. It's gonna be the exact same scenario. Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe, who's going to be better than the other? Because these two have the potential of winning the Ballon d'Or in the future. And how are they going to be able to win the Ballon d'Or while they're going to be teammates in the couple in the next seasons ahead? Who is going to be moving to another team? Like that's what I mean. You know, it's hard for teammates to be like winning the Ballon d'Or against one another. You know, Messi was always dominating Neymar in terms of awards. And how is it going to be now between Vinicius and Mbappe? Because these two guys have the potential of winning the Ballon d'Or in the future. And there's Jude Bellingham as well. Like, God damn, Mbappe moving to Real Madrid is a cheat code. For me, it's a cheat code because these guys are going to win each and every trophy. Anyways, I cannot wait to see uh, the Champions League quarterfinals. Uh, it's going to happen very soon between Real Madrid and Manchester City. That's the big game. And uh, this marks the end of the video. For me, Mbappe is a better player than Vinicius Jr., but Vinicius Junior has the potential of being better than Bappe, according to what I've seen in this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Uh, don't forget to like the video to boost the algorithm. Sh subscribe if you're new here. Take care. Peace out.